Hey everybody and welcome back to Droob's Vids and today we're going to be taking a look at my must-haves for New York Comic Con. So let's dive right in and see what we got. New York Comic Con is next week. Are you guys excited? I'm super excited especially with a few of these releases and I want to go over with you guys exactly what I want to pick up or what I aim to pick up and a few other pops that I just thought were really cool that they announced. So the first pop I want to talk about is Killer Frost and as soon as I saw this glam released I just thought wow that's a fantastic looking pop and it's glow in the dark it's going to be shared with Hot Topic so it's kind of going to be not too hard to obtain but this thing just looks great and in my opinion every CW Flash fan out there is, is just so happy about this pop it just it's awesome it's a great looking pop. Next pop that I thought was really cool is a koi from Black Panther and they did it where you could remove the wig from her and I thought that was just an awesome concept and hopefully it'll work the way they intend to and now I kinda wish that they did Eleven the same way from Stranger Things even though I'm still salty about it and with that being said we gotta talk about Professor Quirrell here and so Professor Quirrell, he has stirred up quite an interest amongst the Harry Potter fans just based on the fact that he has Snape on the back of his head, which is an awesome idea. And they have it so you can remove the turban from him as well. Very similar to how Okoye's wig is going to be removed, right? So I'm not sure if that's going to be magnetic or how they're going to do it. So I don't know. We'll see. But definitely a great pop. And I know a lot of people are going to be wanting this one. And... I don't think we've had a double-sided pop like that since the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. Go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong though in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get into a little bit of Game of Thrones here and the Creator 3 pack, pretty cool, not really into it, but I think a lot of Game of Thrones completionists as far as the set go will want to pick this one up. It's probably going to, I don't know, it might fly off shelves. But you never know, I think they are coming out with a George R. R. Martin by himself pop. So be on the lookout for that. But still with that being said, the Game of Thrones pop that I really like is my man Barrett. And, you know, he... Just look at the pop. It looks awesome. The only thing that they could have done better for this pop is make that sword glow in the dark. But this is still an awesome pop. I dig the sculpt and it's pretty awesome that they made this character so yeah I don't collect a whole lot of Game of Thrones but I kind of want this one all right so for all you Hanna-Barbera fans out there they always make you know a few pops per con and then there's always that one that a ton of people want looks really cool but they limit it right and that's Funky Phantom and this was you know one of the first pops that kind of got leaked out and they ended up making it limited to 1,000 pieces right yes that hurts and I feel your pain just know that I don't know I it sucks right sorry Funky Phantom dope pop 1k limited I hope you could get it if you are a fan of Hanna-Barbera so the next thing I want to talk about is the Toy Tokyo releases and mainly Notorious B.I.G. and Blue Chrome Vegeta as well as the Orange Chrome Batman, right? They, they are getting the Garbage Pail Kid and the and Beast or the Beast from Teen Titans, but the three first pops I mentioned there are going to be wildly popular just like with any Toy Tokyo exclusive and I don't know, just, just know that if you don't get it, it's not the end of the world. And, you know, generally Toy Tokyo stuff is really hard to get. If you guys do want one of those pops, good luck. I hope you can pick it up. But for me, I got Gold Chrome Vegeta already. So I don't really feel the need to get the Blue Chrome one. Yes, it would be nice. But I'm not going to go out of my way to try and get it. And I know quite a few people that have been collecting the Chrome Batmans definitely want to pick up the Orange Chrome Batman. And don't go out there trying to pick it up just because you can think it's going to be the next big thing. 
look at what happened with the black chrome Batman. He's kind of the cheapest of all the chrome Batmans, but I think it's the best looking one, honestly. And as far as the Notorious B.I.G. pop is concerned, in my opinion, Funko kind of dropped the ball on this one. Yes, it's a great looking pop and it's limited to Toy Tokyo. Should be pretty popular, but with that being said, they did just release two molds of him. So I think their timing was a little off. They should have probably waited, drop the Toy Tokyo on first, and then drop the two commons. And it would have been a totally different story going into this year's con. So that brings me into my actual must-haves for myself. The ones I want to pick up. The ones I need to pick up. The ones if I don't get, I'll be super sad forever and ever. But don't worry, they're all at the same shared location, so I should be fine, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm worried about. And if you've already guessed what these pops are, good job, you've been watching the channel for a while, and thank you for that. There's only three. And starting with number three, we got the Great Ape. And originally, I saw this and I was kind of just like, eh, it looks pretty good. But then I started looking at it a little more and was like, it looks really good. Then I started looking at it just a little bit more and I thought, dang, I need it. So it has definitely made it on my list and I want to pick it up and it's shared with Hot Topic. So hopefully I could grab one fast enough if they don't have a lot of stock of this guy because he is a six inch pop. They take a lot of room on the sales floor. So hopefully Hot Topic's got enough in to satisfy all these Dragon Ball fans out here. This next pop, I was super excited for. It came out on a list of leaked pops about a month before any of the pops started getting announced, or maybe even longer than that. And that's Brooke from One Piece. And as you guys know, I'm a big One Piece fan. I have the full set of pops right now. A couple doubles here and there, but that's besides the point. And Brooke is the last person from the Straw Hat crew, or the Mugiwara crew, and definitely need to pick him up to complete that. So it's gonna be super awesome. Very excited for him to come out. And he was at my number one spot as soon as I saw it. But you guys right know that number one spot was taken over by this next pop. And that's Edo from Tokyo Ghoul. And I did explain her a little bit in my New York Comic Con challenge video. So I'll leave a link in the description below to that video if you guys want to check it out and see the little description I have of it or I kind of just explain it a little bit better. Yes, big Tokyo Ghoul fan and this is the first time they've released a new Tokyo Ghoul pop in about two years. So I'm really excited. I even have my Tokyo Ghoul shirt on right now for this video just because that's how excited I am about it. And the fact that they're bringing this pop out Hopefully, we'll get ghoul form pops at some point. I do know that they're going to be making a second wave of Tokyo Ghoul Pop, so I'm very excited to see what those are. Hopefully, we get a normal version of Ken, and yeah, I just think it's going to be fantastic. The, the way anime pops are going right now, I think there's going to be a ton of new lines coming out, so I'm super excited to actually see this happening, so yeah. Edo from Tokyo Ghoul, number one. And realistically, Brooke is like one and a half. I mean, he's, can you really count him as two? I don't think so, but we're gonna go with, yeah, he, he's gotta be, two. there's no one and a half. So yeah, if I could walk away with Edo, Brooke, and the Great Ape, it's gonna be a successful con for me. So you guys out there that are gonna hunt this con or actually going to the con I want to wish you luck I hope you get the pops that you want and if this is your first con experience and you don't get what you want don't be upset don't be sad there's a, a ton of pops that I've missed out on and didn't get but hopefully you could get the ones that you are seeking out and as always everybody thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll see you on the next video.